Hi, Genki Call here. Welcome in, folks. It's nice to have you here. Oh my goodness, it's been way too long since I last streamed. Good morning, Lester and Isabel. Good to see you. Oh, let's see how long I can keep this up. <laughs> I'm going to go in and uh, actually work on the adventure board a little bit while we wait to make sure people know I'm here. We're going to do some delving and hopefully we'll be able to do some faction assault this weekend. I didn't mean Faction Assault, I meant Vault. It's a Vault Weekend! Whee! We love Vault Weekends. So, um, hopefully I'll be able to stream. I know that uh, Crisp is planning to stream right at reset. Don't know about Tacit, but, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. I've got to be feeling better by the weekend. I've got to do some Vault. Do some Nomi hunting. We like hunting Nomis. By the way, how is the ratio of sound, folks? Um, is the game too loud or not loud enough? I can't tell um, what you're hearing on your end, unfortunately. Sound is good. Yay! Excellent. Thank you, Lester. All right, I'm not actually used to being able to hear it in my headset. Good morning, Luan! Nice to see you. Hi, hi! So happy to wake up with Genki Stream. I'm happy to have you here, too. Uh, I'm happy to be able to do this. Um, you know, I've been having some issues with my health and still don't feel great right now, but I had some tea and it made me feel better. Tacit will be streaming during the day. Definitely not at reset. Thank you, Isabel. I wasn't sure. Okay, cool. Uh, so weird that he couldn't get a connection today on his live stream. It was so nice of, um, oh dear. <sighs> oh no, nightmare. Nightmare to make a donation even though he couldn't stream. That was so, so nice of, of Nightmare to do that. Anyway, how are you folks? I know you're looking forward to the Vault Weekend, but uh, do you think we'll still be doing Bounty? I mean... Who's going to do bounty if there's a vault weekend going on? I mean, it says there are some good rewards for bounty, but not as good as vault. Not as good as vault. Uh, Tyrion mentioned that they should just, instead of putting in an extra arena weekend, they should just move bounty to that weekend. I mean, that makes sense, right? If vault event comes, I won't even do adventure board. No, you should do the adventure board, Luan, because you can get gnomes on the adventure board. So, I only know Vault Weekend Bounty. What? <laughs> exactly. Georgia said the same thing. Exactly. Yep. I will probably buy one, you know, enough to get one copy of the Bounty Troop and that's it. <laughs> but I seriously doubt I'm going to be doing any, um any of the bounty, except for getting the troop. I, mean, I don't even think that I should put out a video for bounty. Who's going to be working on bounty during a vault weekend? Uh. Oh, folks, I won a new game on, um, on Twitter. I actually won a game on Twitter. It's about two hours long. I thought it'd be a great way to break back into streaming because it's not terribly long and I should have the stamina to do it. The whole thing in one stream, I think it'll be great. Uh, it's called The Forest... something. <laughs> Let me go look. The Forest Quartet, I remember now. Let me give you a link. The Forest Quartet. So, let me give you a copy for, of that. Neat -de 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 -de. All right, here you go. Uh, Isabel says, especially since it's the only vault we'll ha be having after they took away our second vault. I know they didn't want us to have two vault weekends in a row. Boo hiss. They owe us two vault weekends in a row. Thank you very much. Or a week long one. Meh. I say meh. Where's my monocon? Did I keep the meh? I did. Here we go. Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> meh. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> All right, we got that part done. So let's head into the faction assault. You know, uh, 
I did every single faction assault ever. Every faction assault made new teams every time. Uh, <laughs> I like the code. Thank you, Lester. Um, I always made new teams for the faction assault so that we could have something new to play with every time until I started having health problems. I haven't made any new teams, but... Um, you know, if there is a specific troop that you want me to build a team around, let me know and I'll do it. But there are a bunch of teams in the description box below. Let's work on... Uh, let's work on something different. Let's do something different. So, I mean, different as in not the norm. So, for people without any legendaries... This is what I used to get Faction 500 Deathless. Um, hold on. Before we go in there, before we go in there, let me see where I am on Stonesong Eerie. Um, I am... What's my faction? Uh, okay, we did that. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for... My horde level is 122. And Suncrest is at level 15. So I've got the... Wrong button. Oh, look. Oh, look. Let's get it up a power level. Whee! One more power level. Whee! I love that. Going to breakfast. It's 6 a.m. Be right back. Okay. Have a nice breakfast. Um, what I meant is this. So, I've got the 50% Ford, Ford hack. <laughs> Horde stat bonus. Eh. <laughs> Alright. Let's go on into the faction assault. Now, since we're here, I also should mention that if you care to... Get this weapon, Stoneflight. It is available only th today. Only today until the next time we come to this faction. It is available here in the shop for gems, or you can get it in the Soul Forge. but why would you spend your hard-earned diamonds when you can spend gems that are easier to get? So I think this is actually a pretty good weapon. When I put this on a team, it's doing like 144 damage, splash damage, because of the double damage. That's a lot of splash damage. So... Anyway, um, and that's not in the Faction Assault. That's with no boost. So, alright. Uh, 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 yep, let's take in a team that nobody in chat is probably ever going to use. Because it's for people with no legendaries. And let me fix the class real quickly here. It's using Elementalist because it's the one that is going to be the safest for people that don't have, you know, that are starting out. But hex rat and it is from the underworld so if you haven't made it to the underworld yet you won't have this you won't have this but you'll have the Amtraxia most likely uh but hex rat will do damage to all enemies this blows things up this blood stool is from down here right yes that's what i thought uh 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 uh, uh. this guy can hit the entire team even if something is submerged there we go so, that's the nice thing about the Hex Rat. Of course, you have to be able to hit the top troop, but, you know. Anyway, is anybody going to be playing Hogwarts Hogwarts Legacy? Lester, I know that you got Ho Hogwarts Le Legacy. Are you going to be playing that, or are you going to be vaulting? I have a feeling you're going to be vaulting instead, because we're not going to get many vault events for a while. I thought you did. Yep, I remember you mentioning that, um, probably on crisps, 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 I can't even say it, but I'm vaulting, that's what I thought, <laughs> uh, crisps, spree, stream, <laughs> I can't speak, oh, see, that's the problem, uh, but Dimtraxia can still hit that, it's damaged all enemies, it is scatter damage, but you know, you are limited when you are low level to what you can use. We all know that. I'm Huishin's Acquire. Y'all know that. You are all new at one point. We were all new at one point. But, like I said, this is for the people that... Uh, are newer to the game. A bunch of codes with no legendaries in the description below. A bunch. You know, like five. You know, Um, I'm not even paying attention to the multipliers at this point. 
in my gems career, so to speak, I really don't need any resources. I like having the resources, but I don't really need a bunch of gold or souls or chaos shards or anything. I have so many chaos shards. <laughs> so many chaos shards! Um, so I don't really need any of them, but if you're lurking or come catching up on this later and you are newer to the game, then you really want to go by the treasure multiplier and do the lowest treasure multiplier first because that will get you the most bonus on the rooms because, you know, you really want to have the bonus on the rooms that have um, 800 gold, 1000 gold, 1200 gold and get that multiplier up so you can get like 6000 gold per room instead of, you know, just a small multiplier, so... This is where I'm looking. Hey there, Morvin! Welcome! Must be very late for you. It is. It is very late. It is 1.42 in the morning. But this is really the only time of, of day that I can stream. Youngest has been really having issues lately. She's not, um, she's not sleeping through the night. She's getting up every day about 4. And um, so I, I really couldn't wait any longer. But I'm alive right now, so to speak. Um, I have the energy, so here I am! I'm back again! Mm, my tea helped. The problem with my tea is that it keeps me from sleeping. But, you know, I figure it's worth it to actually not feel horrible all day long, so. I need an extract, but then again. But then again, the tea is so good. Um, yes, this is this has always been my normal streaming hour because of youngest. Um, I just I just can't do it during the day. If she's awake, I can't stream because she has too many needs, and I still get interrupted during my stream sometimes. If you recall, anyone that knows me knows that we do get interrupted at times. So this is what it is. If my child needs me, I must go and help her, so. There we go. You have, Lester, you have damaged my child, my eldest child, Georgia. You have damaged her. She looked at me today and said, Uh-oh, better not tell Lester what level I am. <laughs> She's level 1169. She says, Don't blame me, it's Lester's fault. It is Lester's fault. Lester and his day is 69. Isabel, 10 months, thank you so much for being here. Being so supportive, you all have been just amazing, and I really appreciate all of you. What, Georgia? Yeah, Isabel's been a member for 10 months, and I think it's actually closer to the 211 at this point. Dimtrexia. <laughs> it's almost a year. A Dimtraxia won't last very long because she just is not powerful enough. I have corrupted Georgia. I know you have. You corrupted my child. Is that Brianna? Oh, good. Okay, well. Okay, well, I said I had a bunch of chaos shards. Let me just show you. Hey! Tribute! <laughs> yeah, you corrupt many, Lester. 29 is good. We like that. All right, let's head down in the underworld. Let me show you how many I have, please. Oh, 77,266 chaos shards. <laughs> it's a lot of chaos shards, but we have a new faction coming, so... Oh, no. Oh, no. I have to sneeze. Uh-oh. I have to sneeze. <sighs> oh. Ten years later, your child will stream in the night because finally my mom is asleep. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe 30 years from now. <laughs> Let's grab a another team. Maybe we'll do one more with uh, no legendaries. Yeah, here's another one that is a little unusual for no legendaries. Go, edit, manage, paste. Did I say good morning to you, Marvin? I... 
knew that you were here, but I think I forgot to say hello, so hi! Welcome in, it's good to see you. Manage, paste, alright, I got it, are good? Huh? Eh. Alright, that's fine. Um, by the way, for anybody that is lurking and not able to post, I'm very sorry that I have it set to subscribers only. It's because of the bots. We were getting slammed with bots during the, um, <laughs> during the live streams, and I don't like bots. I have a problem with them. It's already 10.46 a.m. Wow! Where are you, Marvin? I don't remember. Willy Foo! Oh, Willy Foo, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in ages, even when I was streaming regularly. Good to see you. <sighs> Germany, that's right. I remember now. Let's see, we'll do this. Ogris is a great mana generator. Especially if you've got, you know, a boost for your life. And... Hee <laughs> hee hee. My preferred method of delving for quick delves is to have two mana generators and two that do damage to all enemies in one way or another, or splash damage if needed. I prefer just AoE, but if there's a lot of submerge, then submer or, yeah, if there's a lot of submerge, then um, splash is better. This year end was crazy with work, so I didn't get much time to watch streams, and I didn't stream much because I've been ill. I haven't streamed. This is. My second stream in two weeks. Uh, three weeks. My bad. <sighs> oh, and I'll have at least two codes to give out today. Uh, we'll do one in a little bit here. But we may even give out more than two, because I have extras. I was, uh, I was just in the process of sending Kafka a message that I didn't need a bunch of codes this month. Because I haven't been able to stream. When she sent me a bunch of codes. <laughs> So, my usual coats for the month, so that was cool. Now I have extras. <laughs> so, has anybody um, got any other games that they're playing right now? Besides, of course, Gems of War. Yeah. Come on, trying to click cast and it's just not working. <laughs> 69 bots have appeared twice on Crisp's streams. <laughs> That's funny. He hasn't said it to subscribers only yet. Well, you know, he's getting there. Crisp has great streams. He has a great personality. He's really good for the Gems community. He has really interesting interestingly different takes on team building. Um, so I think he'll grow quickly. He'll hit that 1,000 subscriber mark soon, I'm sure of it. Uh, Isabel says, yep, Pokemon Violet, because I mod along with, with like everyone on my phone. <laughs> That's awesome. Got my hundred troops killed. You know, I even... During this period when I've been feeling so bad, I even forgot to do my dungeon one day. I've been doing autoplay, pretty much, and watching uh, YouTube videos when I'm not dealing with youngest. It's pretty much been my life. So I have this on autoplay while I'm watching YouTube videos. I got into a Chinese drama, and I've been watching it all out of order, and now I've gone back to see what I missed. <laughs> I already finished it, and now I've gone back and I'm watching uh, what I missed of it, because it's actually really good. Very interesting. It is called Love and Destiny. And I can even give you a link to the playlist if you like. I wasn't sure how I felt about the main male lead at first, but by the end, <laughs> I like him a lot. Marvin says, so there's finally a date for the next Vault event. It's this weekend! Read some drama on the forums. Oh, you read some drama on the forums. Yeah. 
Um, there's also a link to information on this vault event and the one after that in my community section of my page for YouTube. So, let me grab another team. Bum bum. Anyway, uh, love and destiny. Uh, hold on, let me give you this. Love and destiny. Chinese drama playlist. There it is. Okay, I'm going to add it on my watch list. And you've seen it. Oh my gosh, it's about awesome. I love that. I mean, it's it's such a weird thing to pop up into my feed, these Chinese dramas. But it's because I was listening to... I have a playlist for Korean and Japanese songs that I really like. And then these Chinese drama things kept popping up into my video feed. And it's like, well, I can't concentrate to do anything else. So let's watch some drama. <laughs> I'm glad I did. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, here's some. Uh, something. Uh, no, let's do something really different. I keep saying really different. I mean, these are not new teams. These are teams I've had forever. It's just... It's unusual. These are quick delve teams. Oh my gosh, I... Look how long ago I made this team. I have this maxed out, and I have for a long time. Wow. Okay, let me fix this. Class, Oracle. Oracle makes you a centaur. Uh, let's do that. I really like the enchant. Um, construct Strix. What? What? It's part of my recommendations on my Netflix and Amazon Prime. Cool. Try out Love Like Galaxy. It's very good. Jay Shar, welcome in. It's good to see you. Um, I don't know about taking recommendations from you, Lester. Usually it's something naughty, and that scares me. I am not as naughty as you. And so that makes me nervous. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Artema is great. Uh, this guy is a fantastic mana generator. As long as you have yellow on the board, he also cleanses. You get bonus yellow mana from him. Artema also gets you some mana because she's going to blow up three rows. You're not kidding with this one. Okay, you're, it's not something really naughty. I'm okay with a little naughty, but you've been really naughty lately, Lester. <laughs> Love like the galaxy. I will try to remember that. Uh, let's blow things up and kill the things. <laughs> Artema is really good. She has a 40% chance to dodge skull damage. 40%! And a 50% chance to do true damage with skulls. So, anyway. Welly Foo! Physical 100 is really good. It's a physical elimination game similar to Squid Game, which I haven't ever seen. Without the deaths, and it's real people. Cool! Kind of sounds like Ninja... Ninja Warrior. I love that, actually. Uh, that's the truth. My phone auto-corrected to Headmaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. It almost killed Crisp. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, and this does damage to all enemies, two life to all allies. It freezes the first enemy, and it burns the first enemy. So, pretty cool. Oh, Artema. I don't want to know. Well, Lester, you have got one of the dirtiest minds I know of in this world uh, while still being a funny guy. Um, <laughs> I'm not surprised you heard something other than Artema. Sabertooth Rat, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hi, hi. Good to see you. Uh, 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 uh. Take some purple, thank you. I'll go ahead and kill some things. Meow. And we might as well use the Astral Mother, because why not? Uh, I think when we finish this delve, I will give out the first code. And now that I mentioned it, I bet some of you now thought it too. I still don't know what you're talking about. Please don't give any hints. I don't want to know. Vault is this weekend, Jshar. It's this weekend. They changed it. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing here. 
Let's use this. I like this weapon. This is actually quite a good weapon. And it's something different that does AoE. Yep, yep, we've got a vault weekend coming, but no one's gonna do the bounty. Yep, this weekend. It has been confirmed on the forum by Kafka herself. But they're canceling next weekend, so giving us another arena frickin' weekend. Boo hiss. I said boo hiss. Boo hiss devs. How dare you. How did you survive? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, let me see. Oops, my mouse is acting up. I just put a new um, battery in this mouse. I don't know why it's acting up. Silly thing. What is wrong with you? I was about to, <laughs> was about to ask if anybody had plans for the weekend, but I already know the answer to that. It's bulk we weekend. Nobody's going anywhere. They're going to be tied to their phone or tablet or PC or the console, whatever it may be, they're going to be doing the vault event, so... Uh, what are your plans for next week, I guess? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Pretty much for me, I just take things day by day. I never know how I'm going to feel. I never know what youngest is going to be needing day by day. I may have plans and not be able to keep them because youngest has other ideas or... <laughs> or sometimes she'll demand to get out of the house. Sometimes she refuses to get out of the house. I never know. I never know until it comes up. Uh, I would say recover from vault, but knowing Tasset, I'll probably be modding. <laughs> Yeah, most likely. Do you know if he has any daytime uh, streams planned anytime soon? I know he had one yesterday. I got to be there for a little bit. Um, well, I guess that was day before yesterday now. Uh, 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 and I missed the next one. Meh. Because I haven't been able to get out of bed. I've been missing crisp streams. I've been missing tacit streams. Meh. Isabel says, yes, it wants to so do more old school runescape on Wednesday and Saturday. Oh, I forgot. Runescape. You know, I've never played runescape. Is it Hold on. Um, where's my mind? Um, <sighs> a roguelike? Or some other kind of game? Oh, it meant that you're traumatized by the game. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, it's code time. It's time for a code. Let's get the first code for you folks. Here we go. First code. One and two. There you go. Same code. It's just so it'll be easy to scroll back and find in chat. And while you're redeeming that, I am going to go and find another team to use. It's an open world RPG from the Dark Ages. <laughs> I know it's really old. Thank you, uh, Isabel. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um... Let's see. Let's find another team. No, I don't feel like using that one. Yeah, let's use that. That's fun. Okay. 
coming back to you. Coming back to the game. All right, next. Next, let's use this one and fix the class. I have all of my classes maxed out now. It's so awesome. Erska, Mystics, Constructs, me. I don't even remember what, what I'm using here. Uh, I was probably leveling Bard. At no, no, this is definitely a Bard one. <laughs> we want Bard because it's Wild Folk. The whole team is Wild Folk. Bonuses. I've got a few. Look at these bonuses. Just for having four unique Pans Veils troops. Because I have this maxed out, I'm sure. But, yeah. Some nice bonuses on this. Why isn't my mouse working? Meh. Tell me I need another new mouse. <sighs> anyway, let's take this in. Stupid mouse. Alright, Glaive of Many Goats is going to do damage, boosted by Wild Folk allies, create a bunch of green and yellow for the team. So we're going to go ahead and hit this darn thing, because I hate her. Uh, because she can insta-kill if there's a storm. And usually it's going to loop. It's not always going to loop, but let's use Pan. <laughs> Plus, Starflower is going to be giving uh, random troops at enemy troops fairy fire and increasing the... You're welcome! Increasing the damage. So. Mm -mm -mm, by 50%. Right here. Aha. Yeah. And Luna. Luna is awesome. I love Luna. I love the lightning strike type of thing that she does when you match yellow gems. And she's just really awesome. You're heading- Hey, Bree! I'm heading to bed, but I just noticed you were streaming and had to say hi. Thanks, Bree! It's good to see ya. Good to see you, little brother. <laughs> good to be feeling well enough to stream. Actually got to see Bree the other day. I wasn't feeling very well at the time, but uh, I had to get out, so... It was good to see you, Bree. It's been a really long time. It had been a really long time, I guess I should say. Luna... Luna rocks, yes. Okay, change of plans for Vault Weekend. It's about time. Don't they owe us two vaults? Yes, but they're not giving us two. Did he have delicious sweets? No, he didn't know I was coming over. He would have if I, he had known, I'm sure, because he's really good about that. He's so generous. Uh, let's see, we'll do this. And, um, also, hold on just a second. Let me grab something to show you folks. I'm going to go to my channel, go to community. I'm going to grab this link so that you can see what was posted by Kafka on the forum about this vault event and the next vault event because it's, it, it's not good news. Um, so check that out when you get a minute. I must be sitting here playing with Pan. And that sounded weird. <laughs> loopy loopy loo. Oh, this is such a good team. I love this team. Hi and good night, Lester and Isabel, says Bree. Sunny Valkyrie, it's good to see you. Hi, hi. Good to see you. It's good to see everybody. I have missed streaming so much. It's been not fun, for sure. I love this team. <laughs> you can say what you want about some of these mythics, um, like Mombasira and whatnot, but you get a boost on them from world event medals or from the boost from delving, you know, your hordes and whatnot. They do a lot of damage. With that magic boost that you get. Bree Lester says, Oyasumi. He didn't say it that way, but he did say goodnight. Bree's probably already gone. He needs to get sleep. You gotta work tomorrow. Or later today. Yeah, you know, I'll probably be up all night again, so. Hey, Genki, how are you, says Simone. Welcome! It's good to see you. Um, I am, um, doing okay right now. 
pretty well. I'm actually, cons compared to how I've been, I'm doing really well right now, so. Thank you for asking. Alright, uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. I want to cast Starflower. I can't believe I just did that. That's alright. Oh, fine. I'll take that. Let's... hit this one. <laughs> alright, let's cast, cast Starflower. She is fun. Fairy Fire and damage to all enemies. I really think that she's underrated. She's a really good, um, legendary as far as it goes, but people just seem to forget about her easily. Fairy Fire is really nice, I gotta say. Definitely want to hit him first. Let's see. Uh -huh. Huh. Fine. Go. <laughs> that goat noise that Tan makes, that's just so funny. Ah. If there are any, um, any requests for a specific team from the description, if there's a team you want me to build using a certain troop, let me know. I'm running out of sigils, but uh, we will find other things to do once I finish with this, but, uh, you know. If you have something in mind you'd like to see, let me know. Get rid of her. Meh. Sushi Ninja! Welcome in! Luan says, So Genki, is there any confirmation about Vent Vault Event? Yes. Scroll up just a little bit, click on the link. It's all written out there by Kafka. Our Vault Event is this weekend. Next weekend has been cancelled and they're giving us a f arena. They should have moved this weekend's event bounty to next weekend, then we would have been happy. Because I'm not doing bounty this weekend. I don't mind doing bounty, it's fantastic rewards, but not when there's a vault weekend. Yum. Water. So happy for the new troop coming out. I love foxes. Yes, Volpasia is coming. So Volpasia, Volpasia is going to be all foxes, and there are some gorgeous troops coming out from Vulpasia. If you have been on Taran's World, um, or if you want to get on Taran's World, you can see the new troops coming out. They are gorgeous, they're funny, they're pretty. <laughs> so, anyway, let me grab another team here. Unless you want me to make one from scratch, I will be happy to do, what, do that, if there's something you want me to do. Let's see... About something different. Uh -huh -huh. So Genki, did you medal the Empress? Yeah, I did. I gold medaled her. I'm not using her, but I did gold medal her. <laughs> I'm sure I will use her. I'm just not right now. Gotta sleep. Work in two hours. Oh, Sushi Ninja, get some good rest. I hope that you have a good day. Now, if I got the right class, I am Urska. Yes. This is an all Urska team. Um, Defiance is like finesse and um the tauros one that i can't remember the name of right now uh anyway it's one of the guild guardians that has this lovely thing so every time i get a match four there's going to be plus eight to all skills on my entire team the axe of the north creates a bunch of green and brown gems brown feeds defiance the yellow feeds urskala who's going to do you know scatter damage and give me 50 percent mana start even better would probably just be to put another Defiance on here. But, you know, if you want to pick up the yellow, you can add it in here. Uh, 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 so let's take it in. Something different. I don't see Defiance used very often, but I do think it's a good troop. I mean, it's like using Finesse with the Nimbus Bow. It's just a different weapon for the Urska. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Blue, blue, blue. And we're gonna hit this nasty thing first. Yeah. Ah. Gotcha. Yeah, I think it would be better just to have three Defiance on the team, but for lower levels, this will be nice and fast because Defiance can only hit two enemies. 
and Urskula can hit all of them. Of course, it's not very strong scatter damage, but it's good for finishing things. Alright, uh, yep, I'll take that red, thank you. Downside is that this creates some yellow. Wait, did I say yellow? I didn't mean yellow. Never mind, don't mind me. Let's see. <sighs> I am thinking of many things, so many things that I want to do and need to do, um, I just haven't been able to get anything done lately. Hopefully soon. Hopefully I'll be fine soon. I'm drinking, I've started drinking my tea every day. I had two days that were so horrible. And I knew I'd feel better if I just drank some of my chai. And I didn't do it because I knew it would keep me up at night, which, you know, in the end makes things worse. I've just been drinking the chai the last couple of days because it just, it makes me feel alive and I just can't go on the way I've been going. It's just been difficult. Very, very difficult. Meh. I say meh. <laughs> You know, as usual. Uh, no, I'm just gonna do this. We'll get this guy that does true damage. Ah, oh, not much true, or not, not much, uh, there we go. Aw, hugs. Can't wait till you're all, b oh, me too. Gosh, I can't wait to get back to streaming regularly again. I miss it so much. I miss you guys. And, you know, I, I love streaming. It's so fun. It's so great to hang out with people that like the same things I do, that I can enjoy the games with, and um, it, it's just a great setup, and so not being able to do it has been difficult as well. Dum -dum -dum. Yeah. Eh, spirit fox. Meh. Nah. Fine. I'm saying meh a lot tonight. I should stop that. <laughs> Let's see. We'll do that. Oh, meh. Again with the meh. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just do this. So if I had a, the third defiance with me, it would, instead of being plus 8 to all skills, it would be plus 12 to all skills for every troop. Every time I got a match for. Just like with the finesse team. There are the match fours I'm talking about. Thank you. So, yep, we'll go ahead and do this. So, Urskula's um, scatter damage is actually going up every time we get a match four as well. It's not just the Defiance troops that are getting the boost. Yeah, we need to finish off the world event before Friday. We all need to finish it before Friday so we're, we don't have to pay any attention to it during the vault event. Uh, <laughs> we don't wanna... Oh, sure, you're gonna stick around, are you, Vinoxia? Mm-hmm. So you think. So you think. I'm just gonna take her out. Meh. There we go. Stop saying meh. Why do I keep doing that tonight? <laughs> I'm in a meh mood, I guess. Alright. Let's put up a poll. Uh, uh, uh. Um. Alright. I've got a poll up for you folks. You know, it's been a while since I last streamed, and uh, so you folks get to help me decide what to do. Um, do you want me to continue delving, or do you want me to um, to switch to something else? I still need to do uh, use up my world event sigils from today, and 
I don't have very many vault keys, but I can do some vault keys. We could do some explorers. We could play around with teams. Whatever you'd like. This is viewer's choice. <laughs> Y'all vote. That's two votes. Give me some more. More input. More input. What? Number five is alive. Um, okay. Short circuit. Anybody seen that? <laughs> Silly. Ah, uh, uh, match fours. Thank you, thank you. Let's hit her. Mm, I'm gonna do this first. There we go. So there are only two troops here. Yes, many times. Many times... Many times what? <laughs> what is... I don't know how much the stream is lacking at this point. Um, let's see. I gotta go grab another team, because at the moment, continue delving is winning. So, let's see. I have a finesse team. I have the triple finesse team on my list here. There's also finesse with Shibanu Vespera. You know what? I know Luan is new. Newish to the game. Maybe he hasn't seen how this works yet, so I'm gonna do that. Oh yes, you've seen Short Circuit. Thank you. I forgot what I was talking about already. Anyway. Oh my gosh, look at the class. Stormcaller. Lightning Strike. And... Oh, Strikes, I guess. Show you, I'm going to show you right now. Hold on a second. Let me just. Uh... Okay. So, Shibano Vespera, I. Hey, Monsieur. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you here. Well, I gotta go. Bye bye. Bye, Sunny Valkyrie. It was good to see you. Um. Yeah, Shibanu. This is a crazy, crazy team because every match four you get is going to add um, eight to all skills on the entire team except for Shibanu. But Shibanu is going to be adding random skill to, you know, three three times every time she casts. So the Doomed Axe is in case she casts on herself. You want to have a monocolor team. So all yellow, all purple, are all blue with Shibanu to just be the... Uh, yes, yes, you probably could. Lester, you naughty boy. I'm stretching. Ah. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get some mana for... Um, Shibanu, and I don't really have that right now, so I'm just going to let them use the skulls. I'm okay with that, because I want to show you how this works. So right now, we're at 77 damage on this. 77 and 80. I think I can remember that. Alright, here's what we do. We cast on anything but herself, usually the first troop, because it could add to attack. It just did twice. Plus, all of the match fours are going to be adding to the entire team. So we were at 77 and 80. Just that one move, we're up to 109 and 143. It's crazy. Oh, Lester says only 64 gems on the board. My bad. Just made my 3x finesse plus Nimbus bow for the first time. Yeah, it's very, very good team. But you see, this can, this can go really high, and it may be slow, but it's so effective. I mean, you were just... The triple finesse with Nimbus Bow is also fantastic, but you get so many match fours with Shibano Vesper. It's crazy. I haven't used this team in ages. Yep, you just gotta get things started. I can take the skull hit. I mean, we've got 50% skull damage reduction. Their attack is only 28. I can take the skull hits. So I'm just gonna fill up finesse and then show you again we're at 77 and 80 yet again. That's the baseline for this team as far as attack goes. We're going to hit yellow. And sometimes she'll cast on herself and may may end up with purple or um, purple or blue on the board instead of yellow. That's why you want mono color with, um, sh with Shibanu. But let's cast this again. Do you have a very fast team with empowered mana generator? 
Um, I don't know. Let me look at my um, description. Hold on a second. I usually don't like empowered mana generators because you have to stop and think and look for alignment. I can make one if you want. You tell me what kind of you tell me what troop or troops that you would like to see in a team, and I'll make it. Uh, let's see. I don't think I have anything with empowered mana generators. It's just not my style. Generally, I don't use them except in Guild Wars. Match four. Bump, bump, bump. So now we're up to 117 and 120. I mean, all I have to do is this. I'm done. <laughs> but Shibana will cast on herself sometimes and hit the purple. And when she does, that gives you a bunch of things to transfer over into Doom Skull. So <laughs> it's very fun. I do love my Doom Skulls. Uh huh. That will do that. Let's see if we can loop here, and we did. And you can know you can just keep casting and casting and casting and getting higher and higher and higher. 148 damage. 120 damage is crazy. I use empowered converters to get thrall going. Lamash two and grave seer. Yeah, that works. But again, you have to look for alignment. I like to just blow things up and just take off rather than going with the empowered mana converters. That's, you know, in Guild Wars, that's a different kind of setting, but for general gameplay, that is my preferred method, just to get things done quickly and efficiently. I'll take that. And I'll take that, thank you. I've got the lightning strike going on, which is making things even faster. I'll take that. That's why Leprechaun is my most beloved troop. Same here. Absolutely. Although, um, Angry Mob and, um, Rawl and, um, sorry, Merilith and Bogstrider, they're all fantastic mana generators. But Leprechaun is my favorite because he's empowered. So, uh... I'm just going to go ahead and test that. I don't care. There we go. Yeah, this is pretty slow if you don't have the enchant and explosion at this at the beginning, but when you have it, it's it's not it does not take long to get going. Logic Slayer, welcome in, good to see you. Hello, hello. I was just showing off the Shibanu Finesse team for um, Luan and anybody else that might be newer to the game. Look at this alignment. Oh, I love it. Let's kill. I love Doom Skulls. I want more tea. I shouldn't drink more tea or I won't be getting any sleep um, probably until tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow is a little ways away. Those doomed weapons are so good, I know. The doomed weapons that create doom skulls are fantastic, but if you're scared of using um, doom skulls or if you're scared of using skulls, I mean, if it's not for you, it's not for you, but I love Doom Skulls. They're so fun. I like to blow things up. It's fun. And Georgia says, how violent. Lauren says, I missed the opportunity to get the glaive next... <gasps> Last week! Oh no! Oh no, I'm so sorry! And we're not going to be back there for who knows how long. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry, Luan. Aww. Well, you'll get it next time. I missed it the first time it came around for me as well, because I didn't have the diamonds. Um, you know, I, I got just got it the next time I was there, and, and that's all you can do, is just wait until you have it available again. You know, it's, it's sad when you can't afford to get what you really want, but um, 
you know, it's not a forever thing, at least. Uh, uh, meh, meh. <laughs> this will... Oh, thank you. Extra gold. Um, this will hit the same enemy twice if there's only one enemy. Which is pretty cool. Jen Henry, dear, welcome! Wow, I actually caught a live stream from you! The guild event is giving me a headache. The way the icons dance around on the map... I, You know, it's been... You know, it's been... I haven't enjoyed the dancing around either. Lester, that's why you stopped crafting mythics so that you can be sure and craft the weapons. Yeah, I understand, absolutely, because the mythics, they can come around more often than the kingdoms do, so the weapons are actually more of a priority if you really want to get your power levels up, so that's pretty sad. I always keep 6,000 diamonds in stocks, two for weapons, and four for an emergency mythic, he says. Do that, do that. Oh, I thought I was going to miss the match four for a second there. You'd think I would take that, but I think I'd rather loop. And look at this, 164 damage. Ha! Oh, so strong! Shibanu's pretty awesome. I really like Shibanu. Shibanu, Ves Vespera, and Sycorax, they're support troops, but they can make such a huge difference to your teams. Thank you, Isabel. Isabel is the bestest mod. <laughs> Bree's a mod, too. Don't let him tell him. Well, he knows that, actually. <laughs> yeah, he knows. Chad is also a mod, but uh, he doesn't get a chance to be around as often because of the time of day that I stream. Uh, mm, 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 nope, I'm taking that. Hmm, did she give me any match fours? Yes. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and cast this again. And what have we got here? 140 damage each. Let's go ahead and loop some more and see how high we can get this. But if they're gonna give me alignment like that, I'm gonna cast. Oh, Doom Skulls! <laughs> I love them so much! Isabel is the bestest. Yes, I'm saying that like a child. She is the best. Alright, let me grab another team. Let me see what else I've got in my description below. Well, we could do Scorpius. We could do Scorpius. I only have one sigil left. We can do Hiking Iron Gut. Uh, I'm just looking at my teams. I have so many here. Uh, we could do Amarok. That's something different. I don't ever use that team. I just generally don't use Amarok, even though he can devour really nicely. There's nothing on this team that can... Huh. Let me come back and see what you guys are saying. Um, yeah, sure, we'll do Amarok. Just because it's something I don't normally do. There's nothing on this team to curse, so... Wait, I better make sure that there's not something that makes people immune to devour before I take this team in here, so let's double check. Plus two attack. I'm looking over here. Two attack. Venomous. Two magic. Isabel says, I did not. Oh, she's the one that corrupted you. Right, right. Okay, immune to freeze. Immune to death mark. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, they death mark me. Life drain and okay, cool. We're f we're good. All right, let's take it in. Easy, you're too shy. You won't even take credit. Says Lester. Lester, Lester. We know the truth. It was Izzy all the time, right? Ha ha ha. Yeah. All right. Brown to red is my empowered mana converter. So I at do actually have a team with an empowered mana converter in the description. 
course there's no alignment, and that's why I don't really like the empowered mana converters very much, because there's just never alignment. But that's alright. Do have a red storm, that's cool. Um, I'll have a better chance of devouring with more red on this. Um, right now, I have a 54% chance of devouring. Oh, I have stun! That removes their... Um, now, dwarves can't be stunned unless they're cursed first, and dw dwarves are immune to devour, but... It was Izzy all this time! I was such an innocent young kid! Ha! 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 So you're admitting you're not an adult then. Is that it? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Um, just to have a higher chance of devouring, because I love the devouring graphic. <laughs> Mwahaha! ha it's such a cool graphic, and it's, it makes me giggle every time. Oh, he devoured three times in a row, are you kidding? Isabel says, oh gosh, the lies! Yes, yes, not only does he have a dirty mind, he's also a liar. <laughs> and Georgia says, indeed. That was fun. So, this isn't a quick kill team. Uh, by any means, but I'm gonna go ahead and cast this just cause lots of red lots of red there we go, so plus 64, Wee! let's take her <laughs> I love devouring it's so fun then I lost my mojo, but I'll get it back in a second here because I have empower wahaha <laughs> Yum, 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 yum. Chomp. And then she takes the red gems and turns them into skulls. So, look at this alignment. So, Divinia is actually a fantastic addition to this team. You know, unless you're scared of killing yourself in a delve, which, you know. But if you've devoured a bunch, you're going to have a higher attack, you're going to have higher health, higher um, armor, all of those things. So, wasn't Georgia supposed to be on your side? No. Georgia's on her mom's side. Whatever mom says goes. She says, that is correct. <laughs> uh, this many goats, Luna Starflower team is nice. I know, I the Glaive of Many Goats, I love that team. It's really got nice synergy and it's very effective. So I agree, I'm glad you like it. All right, let's get some more red on the board in a minute. Not yet. Now we will. Oh, but there's not much brown on the board. Um, there's not much of a chance of devouring, but we're going to do it anyway. It still insta-killed. He does a lot of damage. Look at that. <gasps> because of the... Oh, plus a... Oh. Yee. I'm making weird noises again. I do that. <laughs> Georgia says I'm good at that. Devour. Yum. Chomp. Chomp, 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 chomp. Them so yummy. Georgia, come on over to the dark side. <laughs> Lester. Never. She said never. I don't know if you can hear her. Uh, oh, we're taking a little break. Ho, ho, ho. Are you ready? How old is she? She is autistic and she is tw almost 29. Aren't you, sweetie? Yeah, 29 actually. <laughs> I drank some yummy chai, and it made me feel better, and the Marshmallow Man said, Have more tea! You love tea! <laughs> she's cackling. <laughs> That's why she's up at 2.30 in the morning, because she, you know, she's got to be able to make some of her own decisions, and one of her decisions is to stay up till like 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I love the Marshmallow Man. He's so fun. Oh, sorry about that. I think I hit the microphone. Uh, no, I want to take this first. Aw, you took away my brown. Mm. Well, I don't want the purple, but I'm going to take it anyway. There we go. Uh, mm. Oh, we're taking this. Ha. Huh. 
takes away all the red on the board, but I'm okay with that. Look at all these these skull hits. <laughs> Alright, do this, get a Spherix. Let's chomp something. Let's chomp. Ah, uh, no chomp, but insta-kill. Insta-kill good. Yeah, I was working on uh, some new artwork for Valentine's Day. I haven't been able to come up with something that I liked. And I don't really want to pay to have more artwork done right now. Um, but I'll see if I can come up with something for Valentine's Day. <laughs> more water. Hey, sweetie, will you get me some more water? Uh, I'm glad Youngest is sleeping and not unhappy right now. Uh, no, I don't want to give them the match for. So we're just going to go ahead and cast. I mean, we still have a quite good um, chance to devour, and we did, so. Another devour! Skulls? Skulls? <gasps> Match four plus on skulls. Ah ha ha. Oh, but you're leaving, Luan? Okay, have a good day. Have to go now. See you guys around as well. Have a great day, Luan. Let's see. Well, we've got plenty of attack, so... Bomp. Take that. And... Uh, not much of, a, much of a chance to devour, but insta-kill anyway. With the boost... Um, from my horde and my kingdom, Amarok is hitting really hard. Just even without his ability to devour. In some ways, I think he is superior to High King Iron Gut. It's just that you have to have a lot of red on the board for a guaranteed insta kill, so. But in some ways, you know what I mean. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and use this. I mean, look at that. Insta-kill. You know, High King Iron Gut does not do much damage with his spell. <sighs> have I used Child of Summer? I have a couple times, but I, I haven't really had any alignment for it this whole time. <laughs> this is why I'm not fond of the skull sp or the empowered converters. You have to have alignment. Let's go for this guy. Oh, I got the devour. Nice. Uh, of course, logic. I, that's why I didn't answer. Of course it is. Because Lester says so. Uh, oh, I forgot about the skull damage reduction. Okay. Let's just do this. Oh, no devour. Okay. It's a lot of red. Nope. 131 damage. Chomp. I didn't even have a high... Um, I didn't even have a high chance of devouring at that moment. And I still got it. <laughs> Love it. Love it, love it. Uh, okay, we'll do that. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Ah, uh, more water. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. What am I hitting? Uh, no, we're gonna hit Glaceon. Glaceon is big and bad, and boom! Ha 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 ha! Take that. Uh, for those of you that have been longtime viewers, what was your favorite non-Gems of War game that I played last year? Um, let's see, this, there's all of the um, game house games that I did. There's Gris and The Last Campfire and Hollow Knight. Lots of, I did a lot of different games last year now that I think about it. Uh, what class am I using? Sunspear. Okay. I'm very curious. What, sweetie? 
<laughs> oh, and Stray. Yeah, there's also Stray. Good point. I'm deathmarked. I'm deathmarked, but... Uh, maybe I can kill them before they kill me. For me, Gris, number one. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Deathmark took me out. How dare you? Number one. For me, Gris, number one. The game house? What? I don't understand. Oh, man. Yes, I am in a delve, but uh, I'm at the end, so it doesn't oh, matter. Arcane Arts Academy was one of the ones I did last year. I started Delicious Emily's Christmas Carol last year. <laughs> oh, then the Game House games. Uh, wait. Wait. What about Flipping Death? <gasps> I had so much fun with Flipping Death. I hadn't played it in uh, such a long time that most of it felt new to me, and that was so fun. The humor in those games, just fantastic. Uh, but I have I have a couple of new game house games that I've been sent that uh, that we haven't played yet. Uh huh. Stray is number one for you, Logic, and then Hollow Knight second. Cool. So some differing opinions. I love that actually because it means that everything has been enjoyed by someone. <laughs> That's always a good thing. Uh... Nope. Yellow. Stop hitting me. That's rude. It's a rude. Here we go. Get some skulls. Take that. Wahaha. Go and die. <laughs> I think Genki should make the call. Uh, no, I'm not okaying that. Thank you, Isabel. I'm not okaying that. You know, it's not terrible. Um, it's it's not a terrible comment, but you know, it's a little much. It's a little much. My <laughs> ooh, denied, says Isabel. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm a stickler for these things sometimes. Why do they have so much health on these resummons? Lester says, no, my jokes. <laughs> you just take it a little too far sometimes, um, Lester, that's all. A little too far for my sensibilities. You know, you can call me a prude if you want. I'm not really a, a prude as far as that goes. I, I love a good innuendo, but you take it a little farther than just innuendo sometimes to it crosses the line for me sometimes so yeah no I do love a good innuendo though all right we are done delving we are done with the delve let's see how many rewards we were able to get I wasn't paying attention to the multiplier I did mention earlier you should take the lowest multiplier if you're going for treasure bonuses but if you're trying to finish the delve and get all of the stages of bonus uh, without spending any gems you should go for the highest room multiplier it's you know it's opposite which is weird and I wasn't paying any attention at all so I didn't get the final reward I didn't get that one uh, extra orb of chaos but yeah I'm okay with that we're gonna get lots from the vault give me something good orb of ascension orb of ascension is good we like those. Orbs of Ascension used to be amazing! And if you are lower level, they are amazing. You've got to have those Orbs of Ascension. They are so useful. But I kind of have a lot right now. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, yeah, I have 74 still. So, I have lots of things. I even have some of these things. I have at least one of everything except the major orb of minions and going into the weekend how many vault key, uh versus i have 39 nomapaloozas right now i do indeed oh oh and i was waiting to stream Ah, oh, i was waiting to stream we're going to do dungeon next and i'll give out another code but i was waiting till i streamed to do this 
and grab my rewards. Ah. Got all the things. Look, I got Nevercaw. Thanks to Isabel. Thank you, Isabel. Nevercaw. We should equip that. Let's go do that. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. I can re-equip um, this for Valentine's Day. It's not Valentine's Day. So I was ready for a change anyway. I clicked on the wrong button. I meant to do this. We'll go to style. Isabel says, what? Well, you bought the campaign pass for me. So thank you. Do I have the what? I just got never caught just now. Just now, what am I going to use? I thought that was a blue armor besides this one. I could have sworn there was... That doesn't feel appropriate. Hmm. This actually looks good with the uh, mini moa. The um, thing. Uh, and, and that's the wrong thing. Oh, I did. Sorry, I forgot. I named mine the Tacit. I know, I saw it. I saw it on Discord. It's so funny. Love that. Uh, let's go her, her never call. She named it the Tacit. She named it the tacit. <laughs> uh, let's go here and just upgradable. Get this thing leveled up. And equip it. Oh, uh, I forgot to equip it. And now it dropped down. Me. Never call. Alright, equip. Hehe. <laughs> I may use a different color. Hmm. I may use a different color armor. Just so he stands out a little better. Uh, never call. Upgrade. I'm just call him Nevermore. I like never call, but never uh, a never call named Nevermore. That is the wrong button. Let's go back in here to style and let me see. Kind of like that. Something that stands out. Mm, Viking armor? Let me get that thing off of my head. Change appearance. Uh, Let's take that off, thank you. And we're gonna change the hair color. Noise. <laughs> Nevermore. Uh not blue. Green. I go with purple. I don't know. We'll see. Uh I'll go back and change that later. Yeah, I want it to stand out. Oh, I don't even own that. Uh I need to buy all the things. What's going to look best with a raven on my shoulder? Huh. Kind of liking the vi viking armor. I also like the vampire armor. Georgia says to go with the vampire. What do you think? I can do that. I can go with that for now. Uh, But let me change the hair because that ain't working for me. Let's see... Eh. Yeah, I've never had black hair in the game. We can do that. Uh, let me look at the helmets, just because... Yes, I have a nose ring right now. Huh, that must be the one it came with. <laughs> That's a look, isn't it? Oh, that's funny. You've got this Puritan look going on up here, and then... Jamal. All right. Uh, oops. Crow works better with the witch armor. Mm. Do that. Yes, please. The witch armor? Nah, I don't want to do the witch armor. I don't feel like it. Sure it does, but I like this. This is good for now. Oh, wait. Change appearance. Uh... Meh. Kinda like that. Uh... Hmm. 
Because witches have crows as pets. Yeah, that makes total sense, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like it. There. We'll try that for now. Continue. Yeah, something different. I love it. Love to have some... Love to switch things up now and then. Okay. Uh, let's go... Oh, yeah. I said code. We're going to do the dungeon first, and then I'll give out the next code. All right. Eh. Okay. Ah! Okay. Two, three, or six. Let's put up a poll. Let's start a poll, and we'll go two, three, six. Ask your community. Let me know which door I should choose. I want to get a perfect. Ah. Let me grab this in the meantime. And see how many. Let me go back here. Uh, see how many. 332. I did spend um, some Dragonite and I crafted the Ice Ring in preparation. I only need Amethelius at this point. I need the Purple Dragon and that is it. So, meh. Alright. You think it's all the way across the bottom? Right now, number six is winning. Mm. Mm, uh, you know what? I'm going to grab a code while you vote. How about that? I think that'll be good. Save. Alright, here is the next code for you folks. If you haven't voted, you have a few more seconds to do so. <sighs> We've got 100% on room 6 right now. Thank you, Isabel. Ooh, we have a, a tiebreaker. We still have a majority. Hmm... Oh, joy. Ah. Uh, oh, it's changing. It's changing up. Mm. We've got some more viewers on the stream right now that can, um, that can vote. You know what? I'll give you a minute. And I already did the adventure board. Let's go get things set up for the world event. Let's see what we've got going on here. I thought of you when I saw this, Lester. I mean... <laughs> yeah, lowest voted room would be the correct one, says Lester. It could be. Oh, no. Lester voted number one. I know it. Alright, we're gonna grab this. Ooh, Orb of Clans. Yay! Let's see. This week, I haven't used any Orbs of Clans. So, a few more, um, like... 30 seconds to vote. I'm going to go into my guild. I think I forgot to grab my seals this week anyway. I did. Look at all the battles I've done. Huh. And I'm going to go ahead and use that one orb I got. I'm trying to keep 15 of each right now in case of emergency, but you now a little extra. Looks like the crow. Exactly, doesn't it? Uh, crow. <gasps> well, no, I'm the one that brought it up. I, I, I mean... It totally does, especially when it's small like that. All right, we still have a majority. We still have a majority and a tie, so, oh my gosh. Oh, I don't want to lose my perfect dungeon. Ah. I'm scared. Click. Ah. <laughs> oh, darn. All right, Lester said it was number one, or number two here, and he was right. Ah. Okay. Well, darn. Listening to Lester is not the best advice I could give someone, but he was right this time. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see how Ruby Magnesia does today. Wait, I have poison. Poison's the only trap right now that I have, so yeah, we should do fine with this. Uh, 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 uh. Need some mana, please. Thank you. Load things up. Always vote first option, says Lester. Yeah. He ruins the majority by doing that, but you know. <laughs> Sometimes he even votes for number one when he wants something else to win. Because that's just what Lester does. Uh... 
This team does a lot of damage. It's not um, the most effective of teams. It's not the fastest of teams, but it's something different, and I do appreciate that. As far as doing the dungeon goes, I mean. It's great on E12s and whatever else, but... Uh, you have to get some mana starting out. That's the downside. There's no Leprechaun on this team, so... Mm. Take the red and the green, please. Thank you. Still no mana for me. Meh. Thank you. It's about time. Okay, blow things up. Kapow! Okay, and I already gave out the code. There have been two codes so far tonight. I might give out another one. We'll see. We will see. I haven't decided. It depends on how things go. Uh, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We'll do this. Meow. Uh, nope. Venetia is going to hit harder right now. There we go. If you make enough red matches, Ruberaf, Ruberaf, will uh, will hit harder than Venetia even. But you gotta make a lot of red matches for that. So uh, I can't. I can't look at the name without thinking Scooby Doo and pronouncing it as Ruberaf. <laughs> it's funny. It's so funny. Uh, purple or brown, thank you. You can take the skull match. I had a barrier anyway. Picks rooms. Just, I always pick pick rooms three, six, two, then five. Hmm. And how often does that work out for you, Lester? More often than it does for me, I think. Uh, it seems like I see you post in the flossing uh, section of Discord an awful lot. Uh, with your stuff. Hee hee hee, take that. And take that again. Ah. Nice. Isabel says, haha, those are sus numbers, Lester. Three, six, two, then five. Alright, uh, oh, that's all. That's it, that's all. I always pick my perfect runs on flossing. <laughs> uh, you always post them. Yes, I know you do. Alright, I already gave out the code. Let's go into the world event. And that means I need to update this. And we're going to put another badge of shadows there. Now, this is a new Venetia team that was given to me by viewer Alex on my video. I haven't tried it yet. Don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> 3 plus 6 equals 9? I don't know. Yes, I thought you did. Uh, let's see, Toloka, I would rather do this, but uh, the way that this team works is I am, I, I mean, I've got Chaska here. She conjures a light storm at the start of every turn, but my hero is below Chaska and with Sunspear. So unless I lose my hero, there's going to be a firestorm every turn. Whatever's lowest here on your team is the, t the, um, the storm you're going to have, so... Luck is going to do triple damage, which actually does a whole lot of damage when you've got a medal and two badges. Wow. Cool. Groovy. Rock demon. Rack. Okay, rock, rack, whatever. How is your past track lustered? Luster. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Let's go don't like these guys. Don't like them at all. Alright, let's blow things up. Kapow! And Phoenicia. Oh, let me give you this team code. Hold on. <laughs> uh, team from, um, Alex. 
Alex. I think it's Alex G. There you go. I hope I got the initial right. Alright, let's take this back in. <laughs> Isabel says, finally, Lester. Because he actually posted something that was innocent. So unusual. Take that, thank you. And... Take green. Why green? I don't know, I just felt like it. Scatter damage does more damage with fewer enemies. So, yeah. I haven't noticed the Storm Crow having any variables, so... Even though the description for the event said that it has a variable, I haven't ever seen one. So, eh. Aw, oh, so close. That's okay, we'll finish him off with Phoenicia. Onisia! Ouch. See, it's been one ally every single time. If it was actually getting a variable, it could be worth more than Gloomleaf, for instance. But I haven't ever seen it happen. Let's see, yes, green and purple. And Chaleka for the win. Another Storm Crow. Yeah, we've got to finish up this event. I don't want to ha uh, be working on this when we have Vault Weekend going on. I just don't. is ready. Take that. Meh. Silly thing. It's still worth more points than Metzli, though, so... Uh, let's get some more mana for Phoenicia before we cast. Meh. Oh, well that worked nicely. Got a nice cascade off of that. Mm. Love that. i go ahead and blow that up so I can get uh, Benicia here. 468 damage each. Yeah, I think that's a little better than these other two. Benicia rocks, man. She is so awesome. I love her. But you really need a higher magic for her to really be effective. Do you? I have a question. Do y'all have a favorite troop? A fa um, not a favorite troop. The artwork. Do you have favorite artwork for a troop? No, oh, just do this. Metzli, Metzli, rock, rock, demon. Rock. Ah, uh, Marilith. I love Marilith. I don't love it when she's not on my team, but I do love Marilith. Child of Summer is beautiful. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. Purple. Aw, oh, I wanted that move. Mm hmm. I think we can finish him off just with that. There we go. Last I looked, Bree was in the lead for our guild. I haven't looked for... Uh, favorite artwork for a troop in the game. I'm really partial to Lan and Shi. She's just beautiful, but there are so many amazing pieces of art in this game. There are some really crappy ones, like Mamba Sirius. She's my number one crappy art in this game, but... 
there are gorgeous ones as well and just really cool ones like uh, Despond and Abject of Despond are both amazing. The Hag looks really cool. I mean, there are some really cool, um, interesting, beautiful, wretched looking <laughs> troops in this game. Um, but like I said, there's also some crappy ones. So let's see. So Bree was in first place. Man, people are kicking it. That's awesome. Look at him go. Dan Mochila, he is one of our newest, and uh, he came in, and then Insane and Mrs. Insane came in, and they just have been just so awesome in this guild. And of course, everybody else is awesome too, so we've got an amazing guild. I just love, I love my um, Lost Kingdom family. Let's see what we've got here. Hey, I have an idea. Let's do an LT. Got a little extra money kicking around. Let's do two LTs. I already put in my money this week, but hey, we like LTs. LTs are fun. <sighs> Come on, Mythic. Click. Uh, you know what? It just occurred to me. It could be that the only Mythic in the drop table for the LTs is the new Mythic. I didn't yeah, Raphamon. It didn't even occur to me. Okay, didn't get a mythic, but you know, he's the only one in the drop table right now except for event keys. So I may have just should have waited till Friday to do that. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do next? Um, this one. Let's see how many I have. I don't have a lot. I only have two. Oh, let's use both of them. Let's use both of our epic vault keys. No, he is not, says J Char. What did I say? I don't remember. Bye, Logic. Have a wonderful day. Great to see you. I don't remember. No, he's not the only one in the LT drop table. That would be cool. I remember now. <laughs> Why did I bring this team in here? Because I forgot. That's uh, okay. I mean, it'll still work, but... And for anybody that's newer or just doesn't know, um, you can have your... Um, it's okay for your gnomes to run away in the vault. Only in the vault. It's okay to let them run away. Because you'll still get the rewards. Rocky is in danger. Oh, Rocky. Now, I love the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's a little much, but I absolutely love it. It's so funny. Uh, it's one of those things that kind of grows on you. I did not like it the first time I saw it. And then I started thinking, I was like, yeah, I got to see that again. Oh, Rocky. 48 gem keys is pretty nice. Georgia says it's campy, but that's what makes it good. She's never seen it. I wouldn't let her watch it when she was younger. Eep, says Wen. Welcome, Wen. Good to see you. I brought this in here again. That's okay. I mean, it's working fine. Yes, you can watch it now. I mean, that's up to you. You're, you're technically an adult. Why not? We'll just keep using this. Another 48 gem keys. Oh, how exciting. And 24 gems. That's nice. I didn't get Cedric, so I'm happy about that. And Gnome Vault. You know, I am starting to feel kind of tired. So let's take this down to 20, and then we'll call it a night. And if I get something extra special nice, I'll give out a third coat tonight. Extra primo good. We'll see. I need brown or purple, please. Thank you. Blow things up. All right, do this. Meh. That slowed down. That's all right. Mm. Hey, run away. Run away so I can show people you still get rewards. Okay, don't. 
The Mighty Win is here. I got the levers. I already have it maxed out, but, you know, it's a tarot card. If I hadn't had it yet, I would have been really happy. How are the... How are the Ethernet people doing? Uh, for, um, for Tacit, you mean? When? I do not know. What, honey, what? It does look like Rowan on the, uh... On that, car that tarot card, it does rather look like Rowan. I keep forgetting to change my team. That's alright, this one's working. I mean, when that kind of thing happens, it, you know, it's really fast, so... Is there a trick to getting Dragonite from dungeons, better patterns, etc.? Unfortunately, it is truly random now, so you just have to get lucky with your picks. Um, I, I shouldn't have mentioned Cedric. I cursed myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. You know, you can go a month without getting a single perfect run, and then you might get two in a row. It's just completely RNG-based. So much RNG. And some people might disagree with me that it's not RNG at all, that it's, you know, they're, they're just skilled. I just one-shotted the vault. Dude. Huh, <laughs> sweet! It's because of Rubarath. Ah. It's because of Rubarath. That extra two magic from the match four, or when you match red gems. Ooh. Oh, I like being able to one-shot the vault. That's nice, but you have to get some... Hmm. You could put the leprechaun here. Move this up. But the problem with that is that um, you won't have the storm anymore, and you get so many red matches from the storm. You know what I mean? I will take that. I will also do this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. And we will kill. Yeah. Orb of Chaos. Give me something nice. Give me. I want to give out another code tonight. Orb of Ascension. That is very nice, but not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for one of the shiny new ones. Shiny, new, and beautiful. Excellent. Load things up. Nice. How many teams did your... How many teams did make your... Oh, how many teams did Empress make it onto? I... Oh, at Isabel, says Jay. Jay, how... Or... Uh, Right. 120 gems. That's good enough for me. I'm giving out another code. 120 gems is fantastic. So let me grab another code. Do -do -do -do. Grabbing another code for you. Because I can. Here we go. Uh, Wen says, I decided today to use Sharon Abog. Um, you spelled it right. Uh, Garnet, Gem, Dragon, and Sycorax. Interesting. Isabel says, only one T Team J. Ah. Oh. If I get something really awesome in these last two vault keys, I'm not giving out a fourth code. I am cutting it off at three codes today. But, I'm glad I got to give out an extra one. That's cool. Let me see. I need... I need... I need a color I don't have. Uh... Thank you. Red is good. Red is increasing my damage. There we go. Finally. Yeah, stalled out a little bit. Go and boom. Alright, last one, folks, and then I'm going to call it a night. And maybe get some sleep. Mm, although, although, I will go check my monsters before we leave. Uh, before we end the stream. If you like, I can go check the monsters. Uh, last one. It works surprisingly well. I will have to check that out when. Thank you. 
Chernabog up front. What class did you use? Maybe we'll, we'll check that out before we go. I gotta see. Uh, brown. There we go. Blow things up again. I think for in the vault that Phoenicia should be in front of the Garnet Dragon. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. You're welcome. All right, last orb. Eh, the most useless orb of all. Orb of ingots. It would be fantastic for me to have had that when I needed it, when I needed leveling up my weapons, but every weapon is maxed out at this point and I have thousands of ingots. Uh, right, team. We're going to go... We'll go to White Helm. Level 12. Orb of Disappointment. That's about right. Alright, let's switch this out down here. And we're going to edit the team and let me see. Chernabog. Chernabog up front. Oh, you didn't mention which class you're using. Um, Ruba Wrath. That's the Garnet Dram. Is that the one you meant? Didn't. Wait. Oh no, Garnisha. Sorry, Gar Garneter Garneterlin. Garneterlin. <laughs> Jay Shar says, thanks, but you're sleeping on that troop, Isabel. I, I gold medaled it, I just haven't actually used it yet. Uh, Chernabog, Garnet Gem Dragon, and Sigrax. Hmm. Oh, redeem code for a first time for me. Yay, free stuff. I've given out three codes today, Monsieur. Um, you are welcome. There are two more if you scroll up. Hopefully you'll see them because I put my, uh, did it, I think Sycorax before the dragon. Uh, oh yeah, that makes sense. What, um, what weapon, what class? Uh, probably, it's awesome, definitely, Jay. I gold medaled it. <laughs> Uh, I would say something that explodes. Ooh. Osha's Tome would be great, except there's no blue. Um, and there's only one elemental here. But I farm gold way more is why, says Isabel. Um, I said yellow. I could do, like... This. Is there one that's yellow and brown? There is. There is one that's yellow and brown. Then the whole team would have brown. I could try that. And Elementalist would be fine. Uh, but I think I would rather have Geomancer. You gold medaled your Cedric? What? No, you didn't. Did you? It wouldn't surprise me, though. Lester has so many medals that he can afford that. He just can't afford the souls. I personally used Geomancer because I felt like getting the 50% mana start on Chernabog. That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, oh, yeah, banner. Um, we're using all of the colors. We definitely want plus brown and purple. Mm, maybe minus red. Definitely not minus... Uh, I mean, we could do this... Let's just see. Minus red. Just see what we've got here. Brown and green. Actually, that would be fine. Garnetarlin would be... But we'll get so much mana from Sycorax, I don't think it matters. Let's go with this one. And see how it goes. Jay Shar says you can level with Empress. Is that who you're talking about, Jay? Okay, we're going to do this. 50% mana start. Ha ah, ha ha, yes. 50% skull damage reduction. Conjure Death Storm. Very nice. This is filled already. Sycorax. Chosen color. Of course it's going to be brown. 
everybody gets plus life every time I do that. And I could loop indefinitely and just keep increase, well, you know, semi-indefinitely. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to... Oh, and every time I match brown. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> we match brown again. I didn't think I was going to be able to loop on that, actually. But now, yeah. Okay, let's do match brown again. 97 damage to all enemies. Plus 38. That's a lot of damage. Ooh, I like this. I like it. Select a gem. 106 damage to all enemies. Wow, check it out. Of course, I've got nothing else to do damage here except for Garniterlin. Garniterlin. Uh, it was a fun exercise making this. I like it. I do. Um, you know, I pr prefer having two things that can do damage on the team, but this is fantastic. I mean, the amount of damage that you can do with Garniterlin here is just crazy. Let's do one more before I end the stream and uh you know what i'll just put up a poll so you don't have to s you don't have to speak up mm -mm. okay there we go ask your community it's a yes or no question whatever you want <laughs> it's the endowed <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know your biggest weakness is some... Yes, it would be. Absolutely. So maybe don't take this into Merlantis. Or Nexus, actually. I can take the skull hit. Go for it, buddy. Thank you. Uh... Hmm? Really? No mana? No mana, mana, mana. But I want the mana. Wah. Well, getting a slow start this time. Uh... Yeah, we'll do that. Finally. Okay, let's blow things up. Kapow! Got that brown storm starting off. Wah, yes. Okay, so... 79 damage. Plus, the health is going up every time. We're up to 91 damage to each enemy. Still can loop. Now, you know, any team that you use with Shibana Vespera or Sycorax is going to be a little slower. Mostly infinite loop of death and healing. Yeah. I'll do that one more time. And then we're just going to go ahead and cast with uh, the dragon. Well, I mean, you're going to leave a brown for there. We're up to 115 damage to every enemy plus the boost. Ah. Nice. Now this will overwrite. Oh, they're all barriered. How dare you? Fine. I'll blow things up. Break his barrier at the very least. And we'll do this again. Uh. Got about Sycorax is your best friend. <laughs> Sycorax rocks. Sycorax is excellent. Well, that barrier was a bit of a pain. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, so what I need to do right now is I need to adjust the volume because... Genki, try out your Rathamon team. Okay, give me the team. Um, I'm going to adjust the volume here because my singing monsters jumps way up when I um, I hit the wrong button when I um, use it audio output capture yes this needs to be negative 18 decibels for my singing monsters all right we're gonna try out Lester's team I know you probably can't hear this game anymore but I don't want to blast your eardrums out when we switch to my singing monster since that's got a hundred percent right now all right, copy, check out Lester's team. I don't want to lose Wynn's team, though. Hmm. All right, hold on. Let, I'll just have to copy it again. Hold on, let me give you uh, Wynn. 
Twins. Sycorax. They are N E T A E R L I N team. Okay, that's that. And then I'll have to uh, copy Lester's again. Copy! Manage, paste. There we go. And let me fix the class real quickly. Warden class, beast class. Hmm. Doomed Club. That'll turn the green gems into Doom Skulls, right? Okay. Forest Guardian for 50% mana start. Is this a beast? No. Mm, why Warden? <laughs> Thank you, Wynn. I like the team. I will put it on my forum. I just have to remember to do that. Uh, Rathamon is also not a beast. So... I think Archer would be better for this, but I will go with Warden. I do like Warden class. Uh, minus blue. Yep, I'm good with this. Okay. Nice match for it right off the bat. Nice and yellow and but this. I mean, we could use this. I can't remember what he does. Oh, yeah, skulls. Purple and skulls. Interesting. Does this... Oh, this takes the purple to skulls. Okay, cool. Alright, let's blow things up. Warden has Razor Armor and Hunter's Mark and 50% mana start. Okay, cool. Too much yellow on this board. Round gems to green. Mm. Purple to skulls. I haven't got nothing. Round gems. Oh. Hmm. Well, Rathamon is ready to go. But there's a match four, so I'm going to take that. Nice. Well, this is purple to skulls! Look at that, I have alignment! <laughs> and then I have green to, to doom skulls. Oh, I love the synergy. Ah, nice. Do love a team with good synergy. Okay, we'll go ahead and cast this. And purple two skulls. We have alignment here, so we're going to do that. We'll do this. And brown to green, purple to skulls. I don't have that. These hunters marked. Oh, we have match four. Just do that. Purple skulls, brown to green, just, uh, yeah, we'll just do this. When are you going to roast and eat that marshmallow, man? I already did, Jayshar. I did it before you got here. I can do the same one again if you want. I can do it again. I don't mind. I used my regular voice for it, too. I didn't use the little girl voice today. I'll do this one more time while I wait for a response. <laughs> uh, I need green and I don't have it. We'll do that. No green, huh? Fine. Fine. Purple skulls, brown to green. Oh, it's just going to be that way, huh? I have a green storm, so. Wynn says I should really create some more teams. Well, I love the one you created. That was awesome. Brown to green. Purple to skulls. Let's just get some more skulls here. Purple to skulls. You know who else does purple to skulls? Or does a lot of purple is Alderfather. But I think I already did Alderfather. Or did I? Did I do Alderfather with him? I don't remember. Uh, what have I got up front here? Oh, Doomed Club, that's right. Oh, let's blow things up, get some mana. Hmm, no mana. Purple Skulls. Purple Skulls. Blow things up. 
Ah, look. Ah! Doom skulls! Yeah. Keep roasting those marshmallow man. Wait till Stay Puffed gets his revenge. Isabel says, Isabel, yeah, eat him. Eat the marshmallow man. Uh, purple to skulls? Ah! Oh, look at those purple to skulls. I, I don't have much attack. If I had a way to increase the attack here, that would be even better, but we have got the hunter's mark, and that will suffice. Yum, 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 yum. Yes, we love the marshmallow. Alright, I'm gonna leave it at that. And let me just adjust things on the screen a little. I think I'm just going to switch over here like this. That'll work. And then, um, Wen says, Me is so hungry. Me is so hungry. I'm assuming you can't hear the sound on this anymore since I changed the, uh, the sound settings. Is that right? Can you hear this? I am in a kingdom with lots of skull reduction. Yeah, I'll try it out some more off stream. Uh, but the nice thing about my singing monsters is that I can have my singing monsters and gems of war running at the same time because they are run off of a service instead of, you know, Steam usually doesn't like you playing two games at the same time. It literally won't let you, but it does for this. Anyway, I've got to turn this way down. There we go. Way the heck down. And then let's load into my singing monsters. And make sure that you can see it. Hold on. Uh, what do I need to click on? I need to click on that one. So here's what I do. I put my singing monsters over here. And then I have the game over here. And I just do both at once. I'm going to move it here so that I can see when this ends, and also the chat on the right-hand side of the screen. Okay. You're in a kid. Yeah, I already read that. Uh, so every day right now, there's a new, um, a new epic and a new rare that's available, which means absolutely nothing to those of you that don't uh, play the game, but yeah, I've been trying for some of those. Isabel, do you see my level? Oh, he's getting up there. All right, I'm going to zap it. Let's zap it over here. Uh, I need to go over to Wobblin Island, see what else I need for that little guy. And the answer is that marshmallow is like the gingerbread man. He must be eaten. That is right. Okay, so I only need T rocks. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to head back over to here. I'm going to make a T-Rox to f wake up that Wubblin. Oh, I'm already making a T-Rox. Look at that. <laughs> Great! Be done with that soon. Oh! <gasps> I forgot to start something! Oh, no. I always have something cooking in my nest, and I forgot. Um, let's see. So, we have... A new rare epic coming up in three and a half hours at reset for this game. Mm. What am I going to try for? Something doesn't take too long. Uh, what's it called? Hold on, what's it? Uh, Oh, I already have the strombone in. It's already 12.34 a.m. It's 3.35 where I am in the morning. So yeah, it, it is early in the morning. Uh, I don't know what I want. Do I even have any room on this island? Oh, I do. That's right. I upgraded it. Uh, I don't want to do a 24-hour one, though. Uh, we'll just do an another pango. That works. I can always shove it into a Wubblin if I need to. That way I will have the ability to try for an epic. And then I'm just going to pop on over here and start a new autoplay over here. Works very well. But you can see it doesn't take a lot of thought or effort when you've got this collect all button. 
Normally this is only available one island every 24 hours one time, but uh, if you make a single purchase in the game you get to use it unlimited, so. Yeah, I need to redecorate some of these islands. Two of them I'm very happy with, and then, uh, no, three. Three I'm pretty happy with. I got a side bop. I'm gonna zap it if I can. Yes! Alright, we're gonna zap this. And, uh, let me see. This looks like a cookie run kingdom for, sh for me. Uh, let's see. I like the rare side bop. I'm gonna try that again. It's a nice low, but let's light my... These torches are uh, lit by your friends for free, or you can pay gems to get them lit. They give you a higher chance of breeding the rare monsters, so that's why I just lit them all. I'm trying for something that's a rare. It's literally a rare monster, so it looks like I didn't get it. It's eight hours is the normal breeding time, and it would have been longer if I'd gotten the rare. <laughs> this is my money making, one of my money making islands. You can see these guys make the most money on this island, so I have lots of them. And. Isn't this guy funny? Ah, uh, that's a costume that he's wearing, and it just cracks me up. The name of the the um, the costume is Ranch Dressing. It's so funny. You have so much food. Do you feed your monsters? I do. They're all at least level 10. I've been cooking because I have so much money. I've just been cooking and cooking because the cooking takes, takes a while. And then I will um, come back over here for a minute. Then I will fill up. I'll work on filling up my gold island. Right now, these are my only level 15 plus monsters. But I'll start filling this up and, uh, yeah. Can I place any? I don't, no, I didn't think so. Um, anyway. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, it takes a lot of food to get into level 15. Level 10, not so bad, but level 15 is bad. It's a lot, it's over a million gold, I'm sorry, it's over a million food to get from level 10 to left level 15. It's crazy. Seijin. Um, this team does fine here. Set this back on autoplay. I get over 7,000 gold every time I do a, uh, a fight with this team on level 12, so. Alright, we're done with this one. This is another island that needs a lot of help. I love this part right here. I think this turned out great, but the rest of it, eh. Eh. Ooh, diamond. This island, this is the island I don't like. I do not like this island at all. I don't like the monsters here. I like the Tapricorn and the Galoptics. The Galoptics are pretty cool. And I kind of like the Ruba too, because, you know, they're funny. <laughs> But the rest of them, not so fond of. Uh, and I just don't like the design I, of the islands. I finally got all your mirror islands last week. Congrats. That's a lot of gems. That is so many gems. Wow. Um, I like this island. I like the balance of it. Uh, my, I can't fit any more monsters here. But I do like the balance of it. Uh, da -dum -dum. And then, oh, I love this island. This one's my favorite design-wise. I finally got some Plinka juice since the last time. Yes, you do, Georgia. Uh, since the last time that I streamed, I finally got these rare monsters that I was wanting. And yeah. There are other monsters here uh, that you can have. It's just I really love... I just really love these guys. These guys here and these. So now my gems will go to buy rares from Mythical Island. Nice! Yeah, they're all monster islands. Let's start another autoplay here. Autoplay. Let me 
come back to the game. I hit the wrong button. That will do that. There we go. And these guys are here just to make money uh, while I'm trying to get the full sugar family. These are the, this is Sugar Bush Island. And try to get the whole sugar fam here. All right, next up. I th oh, look, I got the rare smoochel. Oh, it's so cute. Let me show you what the rare smoochel looks like. So this is what, this is a smoochel. It's a limited time thing for Valentine's Day. And for a very short time, you can breed a rare. And let me show you what those look like, because they're cute. But they're like a little plushy. Oh wait, it's under costumes. Where is it? Hello. Costumes. Market. Jeez. Losing my mind. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. My bad. Wait, did it end? The promotion may have ended. Just, oh yeah, it may have ended at 7 o'clock this morning. It did. It ended at 7 o'clock this morning. I got in just in the nick of time. And it looks like the Caralong is still available on this island. <gasps> That's exciting. I thought it was only available during a certain time period. Ooh, I can still, I can still get a Caralong. I'm so excited. Okay, let me start this again. So, Isabel is the only one I know of of you that plays this game. What do you guys think of of watching me do this at the end of my stream? I mean, would you be interested in watching a stream of me just decorating the islands? Because I may do that. I'm planning on doing that at some point. But, you know, I don't want you all to be bored. I mean, the My Singing Monsters community would probably like it, but... Look at all my breeding failures on this island. <laughs> so many. But I got a socks my first try. Oh, let me show you the socks. It's cute. Here it is. It's funny looking. It's a saxophone. A sax, a socks. A saxophone. It's a saxophone. <laughs> a couple more islands and I'll be done. And Missy Thing is awake and protesting, so it's good timing. I think I got the rare Yostrich. It's a brand new monster, just came out. Is that no longer available either? Are you kidding me? What? Huh. That's interesting. This is my favorite music on the whole in the whole game. This island has got the best music. I love it. Can you hear it okay? I don't know if you can or not, but it's when these guys and this guy start singing that I love. Oh, you like it? Oh, yay. So, let me start this again. <laughs> oh, I'll do this. Auto play. Yes, audio is good. Great. But this guy right here, this, this is the highest tier, the hardest one to get on the island, the enchantling. And when he starts singing, he reminds me so much of Jack Black, just because he gets so into it. It's awesome. I love it, but it does take a little bit to get there. I actually started off with this island with just the Zyster here, the Zyla, this thing. There he goes. <laughs> he reminds me of Jack Black. I'm a Jack Black fan, so that's good for me. If you've ever seen Jack Black singing, it's just like that. Just so getting into it. So just committing. I love these guys, though. I don't like the way they look on the island. I think they kind of clash with the island, but I love their singing even more than the enchantlings. Let's see if... These guys are... What is that instrument? That Australian instrument? A didgeridoo. These guys are a didgeridoo. Flute, obviously. This is a flute fly. F L O O T. Ha ha. Come on, guys. You need to sing so they can hear it. It takes forever, but it's worth it. 
This is a clacula. <laughs> I should sing in just a second here. love this island. I just love the music of it. I do. Um, so at Wobbling Island, I was already here. Please. Uh, we'll start one more autoplay here. Yeah, I think that's it. That is it for my islands. I don't have anything on Celestial Island or oh, the Coliseum. I can, I can pop in here for a second. I finally got... Um, uh, I got the Yule here, and I got the the Smoochel here. This is kind of a PvP area, and you can fight, you can do quests here, or you can do verses and fight thing here. You the man that's singing, drive you nuts in Bone Island, my favorite. Uh, what? What? what is the name of this game so I can dominate it? It's called My Singing Monsters. Um, I'll even give you a link. It's on Steam. If you're on Steam, it's it's there. I can give you a link to that. The twins with the teeth. Oh, I hate them. Yes. I hate... They're so cute, which is why they're on my island in center stage, because they're so cute. But let me unmute them, and I'll grab you that. <laughs> there isn't one of those yet, Lester. You'd think, since we're breeding, though, that there could be. <laughs> Let me make sure that their vol yep, volume's all the way up. But you love their singing. Okay, we're gonna treat everyone to their singing, and then I'll grab that uh, that link to uh, my singing monsters on Steam. This is also on Android, but they are not linked, like they are for Gems of War. Yeah, I know that tail's in the way. Sorry about that. But watch what they do when... It's also what they do when they start singing. It's not just their singing that bothers... It's that! It's scary! They look like bonnets until they start to sing. Yeah, it's like Jimmy Durante, which is cute, but... Uh, but, but, but it's so discordant with the rest of my island! Hey, Matizik, welcome! Hi, hi, Genki, just arrived here. Can you show your idol team? Of course I can. I will be happy to do that. I'll give you a team code and everything. Whoops, I clicked on the wrong button. Hold on, I'm going to exit out of this, unless you just want to listen to the music, but... Uh, we'll do that. Let me grab the code for my singing monsters, and then I'll give you a code for my autoplay team. Give me just a second. My singing monsters... Copy and MSM. There you go. There's that. And then you can see how much this. Wait. Oh no. What level was I doing? Oh, I make over 7,000 gold per battle on level three. On level 12, I make over. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Um, over 7,000 gold per battle, and it is just, um, uh, da -da -da, auto, auto play, Yeet. gold farming team, I can't type, er, arg, here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch back to this, there, now we can see it better, okay, anyway, um, I will be doing a video of all of my favorite autoplay teams that includes my gold farming team, Lester's gold farming team, um, Chris Purpose gold farming team, but also, oh good, I hope that you enjoy it, Matizik. Uh, I better play that game sober, else I will have nightmares. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun and it's addictive and I really enjoy it and I plan to spend more money on it because I want more gems. <laughs> anyway, if you have any questions about the game, 
I played it for uh, years ago before I started again back in November. Isabel also knows the game. And uh, anyway, I'll be doing fast autoplay teams and just all kinds of stuff. I just haven't been feeling well enough to sit down and do videos. Um, I'm really pleased I was able to do them yesterday. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to. But I hope to have a turning point in my health issues soon. Obviously, I feel just fine right now, but I am getting tired, but, you know, you know, there's so many things. There's so many things I don't want to go. I just want to keep playing with you guys, but I do need to try to get some sleep. Am I going to be able to get any sleep tonight? I drank the tea. <sighs> I need to be responsible and try. Okay, now. I hope that everybody enjoyed the stream. I also hope to be streaming regularly again at some point. Every stream I show up on, we're going to do at least two codes for a while because I have some extras. Um, have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be, and we will see you folks soon. Bye!